Hey YouTube! Today I'm going to be talking about my science fair project and why I haven't been uploading videos daily for like the past week. Okay, so um, I don't know if you've noticed, but in the past week or two, um, my I haven't been uploading videos as often or as daily or like I may, um maybe like three or four videos at the most. Um, that's because of, because I've been doing my science fair project, but I ha I did finish um so now that I'm probably gonna be able to post a lot of videos. And so, also, I know there's gonna be like a lot of people in the not just the U.S. but in the world who wants to do like their science fair project on the Rubik's cube. So I just I just wanted to show you guys what I did. So um, that's what the board looks like. And then um, now let me just zoom in. So my question was, let me um. How does a brand of Rubik's Cube affect the time of you solving the Rubik's Cube? So this is like, how does it affect your um, solve? And then my um, research was... Uh, I weighed all of, the, all of the cubes. Cube number one, aka um, Dian. Cube number two, aka Moyu. Cube number three aka Shengxiao and cube number four aka Rubik's and then um and then I just measured all the cubes and they were the standard 57 millimeters and then just like some additional websites that I just used and then my hypothesis was cube number one will have the fastest time because it is the most expensive and the lightest which means it is higher quality and I can turn faster so um yeah that's that was my hypothesis and then my procedure was i gathered four different brands of rubik's cubes and then you just have to learn how to solve the cube and then time yourself five times and cal calculate your average of five also you have to record your best and worst and then you have to repeat the process with the other three cubes then compare the times with um sorry with the other cubes Okay, and now with um, observations, okay, so also since this was a like, science fair project, I didn't, I knew that like my classmates and stuff, or people in the school won't know what, like, that about anything about corner cutting or anything, so I just explained to them, so like, I said that, um, I was getting the best times with the Moyu, of course, um, because it feels most stable. It feels the most stable. Um, that oh, sorry, that um, the holes between your pieces is helpful because of corner cutting, and um, stopping a lot is really bad because um, your lack of look ahead. So that was my uh, observation. And then my results are uh, cube number one, aka um, which is Diane. My average was twenty five point oh five six. My best was twenty point nine nine eight. My worst was twenty seven point four seven six. And then cube number two, which is um, Moyu. My average was 21.87, my best was 19.852, and my worst was 22.442. And then cube number three, which is the Shengxiao, I got my average was 33.96, best was 30.304, and my worst was 35.855. And the Rubik's one, um, and just keep in mind, I didn't lube or tension at all with my Rubik's and Shengxiao. Okay. And then with the Rubik's, I got 30.17, force 17, which I'm surprised because I can't believe a Sheng, um, Rubik's is faster than Shengxiao. <laughs> my best was 24.904, and my worst was 34.985. Okay, and now the materials I used um, were a scale to um, measure 
sorry, to measure the, your cube, a laptop, so you can um, time yourself, a calculator to calculate your averages, and four cubes of any brand, and then uh, those are just like a pictures of four different cubes. Number one is the Diana, two is Moyu, as I said, and then um yeah, and then my conclusion was that um like the high quality cubes aren't the most expensive um cubes aren't always high quality and that turning fast isn't good at all and that I also was really surprised that my hypothesis was almost completely wrong but I'm um really glad that I found out something new about um speed cubing and then now I just have a tiny like um graph about my like averages which is the same thing as my results so um, yeah guys that's really all I have to say for this video um, I'm sorry that I haven't been uploading videos like daily or yeah so try posting at least one video a day hopefully two and um yeah so I hope you enjoyed the video if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, also comment, and um, subscribe if you haven't already done so.